these plus-size models are boldly challenging contemporary ideals of beauty. Ranging from size 12 to 18, they are much more in tune with the average American woman. Now a plus-size icon, Kate Dillon started out as a skinny model. I think it happens to everybody at some point where you feel one way about yourself and that your initial, your intuition about who you are is that you're a good person, that you're beautiful, that you're strong, that you're capable. And then at some point it's met with an outside force that's telling you no, you're none of those things. And I remember getting ready for my first day of junior high and I was sitting in my mirror putting on my electric blue mascara and my frosted pink lipstick and, and I was thinking, I was like, yeah, I'm fine, I'm looking good, you know? And when I got to school, it was just, they were just horrible to me telling me I was fat and whether it was in PE or coming home on the bus every day, they'd stand up and they would jump up and down and they would chant, overweight Kate, overweight Kate. And I remember just like, you know, like sitting in the front seat. I always wear these massive sweaters and I was sitting in the front seat and just like trying so hard not to cry because I was so embarrassed and horrified. Desperate to fit in, Kate took extreme measures. By the end of my seventh grade year, I'd lost 30 pounds and I grew like four inches. And, um, and I was cool. Suddenly everyone liked me. And so what I, what my plan worked, sadly and, and unfortunately. But it seems to be that that's the way the culture is. You know, you sort of, you do what they want and they'll say, cool, good, you're, you're, you're good now. Kate became not just thin, but anorexic. And she caught the eye of the fashion world. Weighing 50 pounds less than what she does today, Kate's image before the camera concealed a painful inner struggle. I mean, I look at my face, my face looks so hollow, I look so, my eyes look like they're bulging out, and I just look so weak. That was the day that they told me to lose like 10 or 20 pounds, and I kind of knew that that was crazy. Like, I remember thinking, from where? Like, what is he, 20 pounds? How am I going to lose 20 pounds? And I remember thinking, I don't have to do this. Like, what have I been doing the last couple of years? What have I been doing my whole life? A year later, Kate walked away from modeling. She was in search of a life where starvation was not the price of success. I didn't want to fight myself anymore, that I really wanted to just like unzip this suit that I'd been wearing of like, like me, like me, like me, uh, think I'm interesting, I want to be perfect, and just take it off and just expose and just be like, I'm just who I am. No longer at war with her body, Kate has settled into a comfortable weight and a new career in modeling. Plus size is no different than skinny. It's just, it's just another way of being beautiful. Many of these girls have been struggling with their bodies their whole life, and suddenly they're being told that they're beautiful. So when you get 25 women up on stage it, with curvy, beautiful bodies, walking around feeling beautiful, it's infectious. And everybody is sort of drunk with that. And when I think about the impact it could have on a young girl like me, maybe, who is 12 years old and, and, and isn't going to fit into the right size and isn't going to fit into that mold, and she is going to grow up in a world where things like that exist, maybe she's not going to feel so bad about herself 